Hello, welcome to Elephant Automation. I'm Nathan Moss, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Elephant Automation for automatic typing. The keyboard input tool is used to simulate a human typing on a keyboard. You can use it to enter text into the program, navigate menus, tab through a program, or enter key combinations like Ctrl C and Ctrl V. The first thing you do is to set the input mode. You'll quickly find that the last three options are practically identical. They are designed to make it simple to do a quick key combination without having to remember any of the intricacies of the Send Keystrokes to the Application option. All you have to do is click on the modifier keys you want to use and then choose a letter, number, or key to use with it. However, the real power comes in using the Send Keystrokes to Application option. Let's start by entering text into a field. We'll open Notepad and click on the area where we want to enter text. Then, in the keyboard input tool, we'll enter some text that we want typed into Notepad. We'll run it, and as expected, it simply types the text into Notepad. Now, let's use a mapping to add text from an output into what we type. We'll use a simple input to get a person's name, then we'll add the mapping in the keyboard input step. Here's what it looks like when it runs. If you look at your computer's keyboard, you'll notice that not all the keys are one letter long. For special keys, we use a set of curly braces around a key code. For example, the enter key would be represented as curly brace, the word enter, followed by a curly brace. The F2 key would be a curly brace, F2, followed by curly brace. For a list of all the key codes, check out the link below this video. In order to understand the keyboard input step fully, we need to discuss key combinations. Key combinations are simply multiple keys pressed at the same time. The most famous key combination is probably Control alt delete There are two ways to do key combinations within the Send Keystrokes to Application mode. The first is to use a modifier, and the second is to use parentheses to surround the entire key combination. There are four keys that Elephant Automation recognizes as modifiers. The Control key, the Alt key, the Shift key, and the Windows key. They are represented by the caret key, the exclamation key, the plus key, and the pound key or number key. How modifiers work is that the key following the modifier is added to the key combination that the modifier started. Here are some examples of common key combinations. Another way to do key combinations is to use parentheses to surround the keys. This has the advantage of being able to use any of the keys even if they aren't modifiers. One thing to note is that you can interchange modifiers and parentheses. All of these examples are valid key combinations. At some point in time, you'll probably have the need to repeatedly press the same character many times in a row. This is how we do it. We put the key in curly braces like a special key add a space, and then the number of times we want it to repeat. We can do the same thing for key combinations. We use the parentheses method, and after the last key we add a space and the number of times we want it to repeat. One thing I haven't mentioned is that you might want to use some of the modifier keys in their literal sense. These keys must be enclosed with curly braces to actually type them. There are two cool features of this tool I haven't mentioned yet. These are the non-typing actions that you can trigger while in the middle of automatic typing. The first is sleep. You can use the sleep command to put a pause or delay between keystrokes. This is nice if you have to wait for a small period of time for something to happen before continuing. The second feature is called clipboard. In the property page, there is the use clipboard to paste text when applicable option. This is useful in that, instead of having to simulate each keystroke, all you have to do is simulate Control c and Control v so this offers a dramatic time savings. But it does so at the expense of clearing out whatever was in the clipboard. You can use the clipboard command to turn this feature on and off between typing so that some characters are pasted and some are typed. Let's explore using these commands 
while we learn to navigate some menus in a program. We'll add another keyboard input step to navigate the menu bar. The first thing to do is use the ALT key to activate the menu bar. You navigate by using the underlined letters. One common example to try is ALT FS, which is usually used for saving the current file. Another one is ALT FX, which we'll use for exiting the program. This will pop up a prompt for us asking if we want to save or not. We use the sleep command to put a little pause in there to let it load in case the system is slow. When we navigate menus, we need to send the actual keys themselves rather than a command to paste from the clipboard. We'll use the clipboard command to stop using the clipboard while we're navigating the menu. This is what the end result looks like. After watching this video, and with a little practice, you should be able to use Elephant Automation to automatically enter text into other programs and navigate around programs using the keyboard. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please share this with someone else who could use it. Feel free to link to this video from your website. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below or email us from our website. See you soon.